is Yaya from Conscious Living or Nova Lily Herbals. Just getting up and I'm going to do a quick morning walk through. It is beautiful out here right now. It is beautiful. Quick morning walk through the garden. So here we go. All right, come on. I got the pup here. Let's put him over here on his chain. It's my compost pile over here. All right, my potatoes in my containers. Hmm. It looks like this one might be getting eaten up right now, but this one is going back. Oh, it looks like this instruction is gonna flower. some borage in there that looks like it's getting some flower heads got a cucumber on here We've got another cucumber okay <clears throat> my watermelon are still small over here but they're growing we got peas we got another pea look at that pea watermelon we got some other beans over here that I put over here there's another watermelon I mean another oh cucumber my tomatoes are looking good. This is this uh, honeydew melon uh, sage right here. Another watermelon. I mean, cucumber. I saw a tomato on one of these plants yesterday. I saw a tomato. This is some tricolor sage. Where did I see that tomato? I'm gonna stake these tomatoes probably today. I know I saw a tomato out here. Maybe it's over here. These are my yellow beans. Looking good. Here it is, look. This is the sun sugar cherry. It's there. Ooh, these looks like some, some kind of aphids or something on here. Some kind of bug. See those little red bugs? I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna look that up. <clears throat> Chamomile some more. That red kale. This is still getting eaten up. These are, I think, honeydew melons. Let's see. No, this is not red lettuce. <laughs> That's for sure. That's a tag from last year. 
to watermelon. Okay, it's not looking too bad, so I'm gonna have to do something about whatever that bug was over there. Some more chamomile from seed. This little board is trying to flower. Space Master Cucumber. These are my lemon cucumbers. Okay, this side doesn't look doesn't look too bad at all. Not bad at all. So what I do every morning is I come out, even when it's raining, I come out and check on the garden. So this garden plot that I started, and it's a mess. Lots of weeds, lots of everything in here. I put some radishes and corn in here. A lot of the corn didn't come up, so today me and my sister are gonna pull these radishes out of here, amend this part, make sure, because there's a lot of cardboard with plastic in it, and make sure there's no cardboard under this little area right here with plastic. Put some, a little bit of soil, some fertilizer in there, and plant some more corn seeds, because I want some corn. The corn I grew last year was so yummy. Also, there's a lot of volunteer of everything. There's volunteer tomatoes in here. These are volunteer tomatoes. We've got volunteer squash growing all up in here because what I did was I put some down from there for my compost pile and everything wasn't done composting. So had some seeds in it and so now we got some volunteers so yeah that's what we're gonna do to that area all right so now we're gonna go to what I call is like the pepper bed because a lot of my peppers are over here and this one has a lot of volunteer tomatoes in it too and some purposeful squash a couple brassicas <clears throat> so Here's my peppers, and they've got some stuff going down on them. So I'm gonna, this is uh, oregano. So I'm going to get in here, this is Greek oregano. So I'm gonna get in here and clean this up a bit today. Some peppers, volunteer tomatoes. This is a red serrano. This is a gypsy sweet chamomile from seed. Another pepper, cayennes are over here. And we've got some more chamomile. See, everything is being crowded out. So yeah, we're gonna clean this up a bit, you know, to give these plants some breathing room so that they can grow. We've got a couple of um, eggplants in there. That's another volunteer tomato and it looks like, you know, it's getting like blight or something. So I'm gonna get in here and pull some of this stuff out. This is a Carolina Reaper that's growing. So we need to clear it out <clears throat> some time. These are volunteer mustards. And these are some of my squashes that are, have fruit on them. Lots of fruit. Beautiful. And I just kind of look under the leaves. Look, we got a ladybug. Yes. We love you, ladybug. So I just let the ladybug stay, you know? I picked the summer squash from here yesterday. So, 
lots of and some cabbages that are finally getting a chance to form a head. Let me see, I do not see any cabbage worms on here, which is good because I was battling with cabbage worms at first. We are starting to get some peppers. This is the Hungarian yellow wax that has a pepper. <clears throat> I'm not sure what kind this is, but it might be the same thing. These are my Brussels sprouts over here that was taking on some damage early on. Also, we got pepper here and some volunteer tomatoes, of course. This is a poblano. Oh, okay. And this is some thyme. This is lime time. Ooh, I gotta taste that. So, yeah, there is a lot of peppers in this bed, a lot of different peppers, a lot of volunteer tomatoes, a lot of weeds, got some marigolds in here. So, this is my volunteer lemon. Looks like it's doing okay. And we got some basil. I chopped off the head of that basil. There's another basil in here too. See, I can't, ha there it is. I can hardly see anything because there's so much stuff growing. A lot of lamb's quarters growing in here. Lamb's quarter. Um, yeah, a lot of lamb's quarter growing in here and volunteer tomatoes. These are lamb's quarters right here. You can eat these. So it's a nice green. It's nice to know what you, um, you know, can forage. This is some more potatoes. Look like it's getting a little pest pressure in here. This look like oregano growing in there. I'm gonna have to scan that and see exactly what it is. Cause that looks like oregano, some type of oregano. Yeah, we've got some pest, pest, pest pressure in here, too. This is the mullein right here that is making flowers for me now. These cones. So I'm going to start collecting these flowers and make some mullein oil. Our lavender is flowering. Bee balm. And there's a lot of amaranth coming up, a lot of wild amaranth coming up. This is the papalo. Got some, and that's my lemongrass back there. So what I'll do is this is the second year of this mullein that I harvested from the beach. I will replace it with these baby mullins right here. And then we also have some evening primrose that is about to flower, which is nice. And our my um, borage right here. I, in my last video, I kept calling it bergamot. This is borage. Flowers and leaves are edible. Very great. This is my strawberry patch. And they are putting out runners. They look good. I see some strawberries on here. And I've got some crimson basil, some onions in here, some sweet basil in here. I topped these basils yesterday. Oh my gosh, this one really spread out overnight. I took the tops off of these and they are really spreading out. I don't know, something happened to this. Look at this. This runner. Hmm. Somebody's cooking some good food this morning. I smell it. So hopefully these runners will be okay with this with these wood chips down. But this is a strawberry patch, that's what I did with it. This 
is the newest. Um, also, we planted a lot of these, some basil, some different peppers in here, some marigolds. And I've got a lot of those, these little bugs right here. I forgot what they're called, but they don't, supposedly they don't do damage to your plants. Put some, couple tomatoes in here. We got some cucumbers in here. Got some broccoli in here. And I'm just gonna pinch the flower off of that. That's another um, borage right there. It's getting big. And we've got different, a lot of different squash in here. Okay, this cucumber's doing well. This is a green dragon. It's got a, some cucumbers on it, so that's nice. see any eggs or nothing but look like there's some some leaf miners ants got a lot of this crook neck squash in here this is getting eaten up also this is my round zucchini and there is one in there look at that okay all right and this is the very first plot that i started over here on this property we've got some kohlrabi over here some volunteer dill some nasturtiums growing. A lot of tomatoes over here that are looking really good and are starting to flower. I broom them a little bit, but not much. Like, I just kind of keep the bottoms, try to keep the bottoms kind of clear. And then I stake them with one stake this year. I might add some more stakes. But this is what we got so far. My spinach, we, we planted some mung beans over here and some okra seeds and some different beans. Chamomile we got from seed. Some basil, nasturtiums. These are my leeks mixed in here with all these weeds. So we're gonna, and these weeds are, uh, lambs quarters amaranth some volunteer dill so i'm gonna, we're gonna get in here and, and clean this up look at how big this amaranth is i got one little celery plant here some more volunteer dill and we've got some volunteer tomatoes and also um marigolds now they look quite similar the marigolds and the tomatoes this is i think some this is golden sage pretty right these are some beans my spinach that's going to seed and some um what is this called again? I forgot what it's called. Y'all know what it is. This is my pak choy over here that's going to seed. We also got some cabbage, some more peas, beans, different beans, peas, greens, kale, Swiss chard. That's what that is. Swiss chard here and Swiss chard and red lettuce over there.
this is my my broccoli from last year that's going to seed so we're gonna get these out of here because I have a couple of peppers that I want to plant here I planted some peppers there also this is supposed to be a mulberry bush that volunteered itself over here I keep scanning it it says it's mulberry it keeps saying it's mulberry so we're gonna see if it's mulberry these are my onions that are growing I take the tops off of them and cook with them they look like they're getting kind of big but I don't know if the bulb is forming underneath and I've tried kind of like clearing the tops out you know a little bit but my soil is so clay it's very clay like lots of volunteer tomatoes over here um, I grew tomatoes in this section last year and they grew wild. I didn't know anything about pruning tomatoes and I had tomatoes all over. And yeah, we pulled a lot out, but <laughs> a lot came back. So we got some carrots over here, some onions over here growing, some little, little spring onions. And I did plant some carrot seeds over here that are growing up. So like when I see these little tomatoes, I just go ahead and pull them out because we got so many tomatoes. I just pull them out. And then some of them, I keep them. See, this looks diseased, so I'll come in here and prune this up. I pruned these tomatoes over here. Yep, look at that tomato. That's a volunteer tomato that is flowering. So I came in here and pruned these a little bit the other day, and this is my garlic. So fun time planting garlic <laughs> and I just took the bulb the whole bulb and put it in the soil I didn't break it up I didn't know I was supposed to break it up directions didn't say break it up so we just left it and I don't know if I should dig them up I mean you can put it in the comments if I should dig them up and break them up and replant them or if I should just leave it to grow that way. Yeah, that's what I did. So, ooh, it looks like I could probably, well, that's a tomato, so it's gonna need the space. So, me and my sister have been eating off of these greens and every day they just come back even more and more, more and more and more. Woodland sunflowers that I had planted over there last year and they made their way over they made oh, no, over there last year and they made their way over here this is that amaranth that comes up this is the lamb's quarter that amaranth so a lot of stuff in here growing but we've been eating off the kale the lettuce, Swiss chard. We've been eating off all this stuff. It's really good. This is where the deal was, and it still is. Came back up for me, and it came all in here also. And I think we planted a couple beets in here also. I think those are beets, kohlrabi. This might be some red cabbage. This is a wild carrot. It's called a wild carrot. I did not plant this purple sage, some dill. This is my lemon balm and tarragon, which I'll probably harvest this again. I did have some chives over here. There's one left. And I think we put some more chive seeds down here. Might put some more, because they're not coming up yet, but they may not because it may be too hot for them. 
and my grapes. And I got some little grapes on there. More grapes. This one I think is dead. This is some cow peas that looks like it's getting munched on by something. And spearmint that's also getting munched on. And marigolds that look like they're getting munched on too. So I'm gonna, I got some BT. So I'm gonna spray some, some BT down. I'm just gonna do it um, because I got a lot of pests in here. Oh my God, look at that. Hold on. What the heck? That, that, that looked like a dangerous caterpillar. It, it really does. It looked like a dangerous caterpillar. I don't know what kind of caterpillar that thing is, but it looks dangerous. And I'm gonna leave him alone because he looks too scary to pick up. This was my hardy, my hardy uh, fit, uh, no, my hardy kiwi. And it started coming up and then something just chomped it off. Something just went ahead and just chomped it right on off. These are my blue uh, blackberries. And, I, and they kept getting mowed down by the lawn people that I fired. Um, so yeah, the lawn, because I mean, look, look at how he just cut this lawn, which I told him, I told him not to cut my lawn anymore. And one day I was taking a nap and I heard lawn mowing. I ran out here, this man was out here cutting my lawn. And do you see the, how even it, uh, uneven it is? And I'm like, dude, if you're gonna cut it, you need to cut it low and it needs to be even. And he tried to argue with me and I'm I'm not gonna argue with you about my lawn. I'm not gonna argue with you. You did it once before and something must be wrong with your lawnmower now and you're not addressing it and I'm telling you about it and you're still not addressing it. So I just told him, don't cut it anymore. That's that. My lilacs, which I need to go ahead and bury so that they can grow. I'm sure they might be kind of root bound. So we got a lot of work to do. Look at that. They got some bugs on them. Oh my gosh. Volunteer squashes over here and tomatoes and this is lady's thumb this is also grows wild also personally grows wild over here for me now let's check out the greenhouse so these are my extra plants that i've been trying to sell but they are starting to suffer because they need to get out of these pots. So I think I'm just gonna plant them because I think people are mostly kind of done uh, buying plants. These marigolds, I don't think are coming back. And they're, they're all dying because they're like suffering. So we've got some sunflowers that I gotta plant. Um, yellow petite watermelon. I did some seeds, so sunflowers, eggplant, eggplant, some amaranth, red, the red amaranth, some more summer squash. So yeah, uh, they need to get out of there. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them. So, in the greenhouse, which is where I found this that huge worm on my parsley over here, this flat leaf parsley. So I'm gonna go ahead and, 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 and take this out and dry this and make some parsley seasoning, seasoning. This is some oregano coming up from seed that still has little bugs flying in it. So I'm just gonna hit everything with some BT. We got some basil. This is Lovage, and I've been just letting the bugs eat this salad tray. 
We seeded some okra in here. Nothing's coming up yet. Some thyme from seed, rosemary, our two avocados. We got some eggplants I wanna get out there. Some more peppers. Hot lemon pepper, rosemary. These are serranos. These are my moringa trees. I'm gonna go ahead and water these. What is that? Some tomatoes back there. I planted some figs. To see if I can get figs come up. This is my celery. So I'm gonna let this celery get a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna put it out there in the garden. Serranos. These are radishes in here. So we're gonna go over here to the table. So yeah, I gotta do a little a little work in here. Cause we got some pruning to do has pressure so over here these are those volunteer uh, squash butternut squash got some tomatoes these are green beans something ate this pink banana squash yep so I'm made it got a yellow petite and I picked these up from the store they were all on sale all on sale this is that bleeding hearts this is the one that um it blooms from spring to fall and i got some pep a pepper a couple tomatoes got another pepper this is a, ch a chocolate sprinkle tomato so i'm excited to see what that looks like i'm we're gonna get these in the ground today I got some chocolate mint. These were some of the plants that we were selling and they're just like, you know, not doing too good because they wanna come out of these pots, these cups. They wanna come out. These paper cups, they dry up so fast, so it was an experiment to use the paper cuts, cups, and I don't like it. This is my roof from last year. I'm gonna go ahead and plant that before it dies because it's already flowering and dying from the bottom. Ooh, my flowers are dying in here. I think because I didn't water them, I need to water them, but she's doing okay. I have another Bleeding Hearts over here. This one only blooms in the spring and she's looking like she needs to come out of this pot too. Yep. And we planted, sold some seeds, some spinach, some lettuces. Not really much is coming up over here but we got some coming up over here that we planted look at these lettuces coming up but something of course is eating them things are eating them yeah just a quick walk through the garden while pup is over there he's barking now for me to come get him so just wanted to do a quick walk through. This is what I do in the morning time, every morning, pretty much. And just check things out and say, okay, this is what I gotta do for today. And then I try to get as much of it done as I can. But what I can't get done, I just can't get done. It's whatever. You know, you do what you can. I wanna keep gardening fun for me. And, and rewarding and refreshing. So I try not to stress myself out about it um, at all. 
I haven't even had my coffee yet. I still look puffy and everything. This is what I look like in the morning when I wake up. <laughs> Most of the time. Kane. Say hi. He's like, take me in the house. I don't he acts like he doesn't want to be out here. You wanna go in the house? Hmm. You wanna go in the house, puppy? Yes. All right, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.